traditional bow, so we're gonna target shoot out there a little bit, so we'll see how we go. Tika T3, 300 wind mag, the Vage, 22 magnum, and the Remington 783, 308. Down. Ready to go. Coffee everywhere. Hey, stuff the filming in the thing. Here. All right, the boys are just figuring out how to get this meat safe that uh, Shane's built there on the back of this trailer. We'll just get one each side. Yep. Just lean there. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> I've got a, a half the ground left, so... That did hurt. One sec. Shelf, gotcha. <laughs> in the way of the f***ing camera. Video. I hope you're taping that. Ooh. How am I in the way? You're all the way over there! <laughs> Trying to blame it on me. <laughs> Trying to blame anything you get on me. <laughs> Turn around. Yeah, I'll just throw a couple of ropes over. What, what happened here? Some rat was in the way with the camera. You can see in the footage I was not in the way. Lucky you got the footage there. <laughs> Today. Thank you. We really want to be gone by Monday. Tomorrow's Monday. Yeah, so we want to be gone by Monday because yeah. we don't want to wait till Tuesday because Tuesday's going to be twenty nine degrees. Twenty nine. Yeah, and that's too yeah. warm for the for the meat. We've got we need to. We leave tomorrow. <laughs> you want to be too interested? What's happening down there? You get shocked. <laughs> <laughs> he tried, he couldn't get away back from me. <laughs> oh, I was going to say the flies don't bite you, but yeah, actually, some flies do bite you. They'll give you a real drilling with their needle. <laughs> <laughs> they go in hard. They get you good with their slatch. Hey, you're real drilling these <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that oil rig drill. <laughs> Pull that up. See, oh. just... Not a problem. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I'm gonna shoot some targets today, and then maybe try and get a hair later on, something like that. That'll be cool. Get the legs exactly the same way. That leg goes a little bit forward back straight they reckon hold it like that pretty loose in the front make sure you hold this here outfit a little bit otherwise you bruise yourself badly remember that one yeah mm -hmm. big bruise yeah all right pull back to your eye so the cookie crumbles boys let's go be prepared to have a bit of a laugh ladies and gentlemen well, you're also one of the strongest chicks i've ever met in my life so I think, look at the, look at the forearm there. That's a bicep, Dal. Uh, <laughs> look at the, look at the biceps. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it is hot today. Get the dog out of the way. Come here. 
So this is the this is the girl I have to deal with. Sometimes I wish it wasn't on camera, but you know, oh dear. can't hide that away. Well, every shot, that was just a fluke. Every shot's probably not going to be like that. Snake, get here. Snake, get here. Boom. <laughs> you are a sharpshooter. An absolute sharpshooter. Uh. Hey, the deer are down everywhere. Even here. If, even that one there is not too bad, but hey, look at that. Well done. I don't have I don't have the right biceps so to pull these out of these targets. These are really oh, hard to pull out. Look, look, look. Work hard. Oh my goodness. Work hard. That was hard. Oh, that's hard. Well done. I'll give you a hand off. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Work hard for your money. She works hard for the money. Hopefully the weather pushes in a bit and then so at the moment it's pretty warm. But that big boy, if he's still alive, you know what's gonna happen. Do you want that chain? Oh anywhere out there, we'll work Get it tack it over the side there. So today we're just gonna get a big meat safe, Mr. Shane. He created a monster meat safe, you should see it. Yeah. Hey, three deer you can fit in there. This man here, I'd number one carpenter. I'd rather tell you guys this is to stop Steph maggots. This oh. <laughs> are I this hate the maggots. Yeah. They have all sorts of trouble and yeah. she know. hates the maggots. Me and Shane eat them, she no, hates we them. Don't either. <laughs> I hate them. Put a big meat safe in here and uh, yeah, fill it up, hopefully by tonight. Because these guys are so conscientious and drag deer out whole, they don't fit in. So we've got this big one out here to put in. And um, yeah, it's gonna save maggots and things, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, this time of year, the blowflies are just terrible. So we can put the whole deer in this amazing big meat safe that uh, that Shane's created for us. So thanks Sh heaps, Shane. Shane and Marcus. Well, Shane, yeah. Shane, yeah. Shane, Shane did 99% percent, percent, no, 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 you got the and I did the 1%. <laughs> Right, we can jiggle that around. Yeah, just drop in there, Marcus. Hello. Look at that. Mr. Shane, you can just tell this guy's a pro. Look at that. Boom. All measured, all leveled up, everything crisp. Okay, put your hands up. Huh? Touch the roof. Oh. Touch the roof, look at that. I'm 6'2. Look at that. Pretty good. Stack here. 24 inch stack here. 32 inch stack there. Job done. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. One big beam for the 30 inch. That beam here for the 29 inch. Little D. 
deer bed here. The deer bed right below, right here. This is where they have full control for what's coming down below. Then they don't have to worry about, about up high. So my biggest suggestion is if you want to shoot a deer and you don't know where to go and it's too noisy, the floor is too noisy, just wait above, wait above and glass down and just see what's happening down low. So they think they're safe unless you come up high. Spotted. That's all right, Dad. There's kangaroos coming in. Not the best of scenarios to play out today, but um, yeah, the fogs come in and visibility is about zero. I did want it to cool down today, so that's good. It has. There's a light mist in the air, which is really nice too. Um, just yeah, visibility is no good. Time to body break. <laughs> that happened. Damn it. I can't carry the gun anymore now. I just have to carry it like that. It is what it is. It's all fucked up now. He can't see nothing anymore. He couldn't get out of the fence and you know who was behind that? Oh man, wow, that meat safe is going to be used for the first time. Oh boy, poor thing, I wanted to give it a fair chance but the thing is I closed the gate and I came in the gate and if you come in the gate there is no going out the gate. Oh my goodness. Marcus has done go off for the second time now. Um, so hopefully he's got one on the deck. I definitely heard a shot, so I mean knowing Marcus is a sharp sharp shooter, so 100 percent something's gonna be down. Um, so yeah. No luck for me tonight, but we'll go pick Marcus up and uh he's not too far away. We'll see. We'll see what he got. We'll see what the verdict is. Yeah, there we go. You, you prick! <laughs> <laughs> Always getting a deer! Instead of jumping over the fence, it ran straight into the fence. <laughs> second, the second one is the, the second one, the same thing. The second one, the calf, straight into the fence. So thank you, Mr. Ray, for fencing so well. Because uh, that one we wouldn't have not gotten this deer. Oh look at the flies everywhere! Yes, sir. Uh, Christening the meat safe again. Woohoo! Look at these spikes. Look at these spikes here. Yes. That's a nice spike cut. That's and actually, look, yeah, really straight. And look at the body on him. Yeah, I know. Massive. Ah, good shot, too. Look yeah. That. that is, that is book cover shot, that one. Hey. Amazing. Hey, so. so good. Now, we have, now we're going to have to buy another freezer. Now. Look at, that leg. look at that leg. Look at that meat on that. So much meat on him. Big body. All right, I reckon we got him here, and then we we can't lift that thing in there today because my back is still yeah, stuck nah. from last time. We're gonna drag it. Drag him straight up all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. Stuff it. So. I can do it. Yeah. And then we go to pick up our second deer. That deer, by the way, guys. For the meat safe. It's, it was a little bit dark already here on the property. The fence was right there. Couldn't find its way out. 
I didn't want to open the gate because it's way too far to walk. So I 180 grand and that uh, did the job. in the meat safe and we're gonna go and cook up some goodness. What happened to heart? Sweet big muscle groups usually for the heart. Alright we're just gonna clean off these veins here. The good muscle meat underneath. Not too bad. <laughs> I'm starving. Okay. So am I, I'm so hungry. That's from the younger deer, and this one's from the big older hind, so we'll see what the difference is. Thanks, you master chef. <laughs> Here is the plate of crumbed venison heart, yummy. So we're gonna do a venison heart schnitzel with Turkish rolls. Maybe. Boom. And that there, it's gonna be another little scoop. On top. Up. Squeeze that on the, to the to the brim. Schnitzel, venison mm. heart schnitzel sandwich. Mm -hmm. That's from. Do I have sauce everywhere? Good. <laughs> really good. You better get the energy for tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Big day. Thanks for getting these, dear. <laughs> well, thanks for cooking, though. Oh, man. How was, uh, look at this one. Already up, huh? Already up, yeah, we're going. Already got already the up. kettle going, so time to get up. Good morning. Let's rock and roll. We've got plenty to do today and recipes to get into. Are you going to make a coffee? Yeah. Thanks, boy. Come on, get up. <sighs> nice. No, so I'll bring you a coffee. Hold on. We've been sitting there for a while, so it's a little bit cold. Thanks. Be very careful when you're removing the liver to not pop the bile sac, because if that gets all over your liver, then it's not going to make for a very nice recipe.
that I put effort into. He lied. Think, what's the verdict? Venison liver pate. You had a nice little grape. And what do you think? Am I going to try? <laughs> really good. Is it good? Really good. All right. The biscuits are bloody beautiful. Now, here we go. <laughs> It's <laughs> 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 a biscuit that they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Compared to some of the other pates I've tried, I actually think that's really good. Alright, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We drop videos like this every single month where we go camping, hunting, we do bushcraft stuff, and we, we normally cook what we catch. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to press the notification bell and we'll see you in the next video. Some big is coming up 2024. Stay tuned, let's go.